Welcome back everybody. Today, the Star Made News 0.1851. I'm joined by Lichgrave and General Von Doom. Hello. And I'm going to be reading this Hello. out. Hot fixes and more mining. Hi guys. Yeah. Uh, the last update sparked a lot of discussion. I understand both sides, but since both arguments are very playstyle specific, casual, hardcore, fighter, etc., it's not easy to make everyone equally happy. I'm trying to add more and more options for servers to find a setting their players can enjoy. But as a game mechanic, buying blueprints from credits destroys any effort to make an economy. In game economies, there are always ins and outs. You want to minimize the ins, else something like demand cannot be generated. Something that basically generates blocks from nothing is an infinite in, which is okay for creative, but not okay in any other setting. The in should be the blocks themselves, which are practically infinite already, but they take work to process. So here are the changes. Possible asteroid size has been increased by 30%. Raw resources and asteroids have increased by 30%. Doubled mining bonus in territory for both owners and others. Max stock for shops increased from 10k to 50k. Initial fill of re and refill of, re of shops is now 10 times more. Added server.cfg mining multiplicator to basically allow the server admins to decide how hard it should be to mass up blocks. Hot fixes include fixed planet cores being vulnerable in protected sectors, fixed blueprints not being destroyed and refunded when blueprint is de deleted or changed, and a fixed the scanner antenna not showing up in blueprint lists. Thanks for playing! So obviously the reason that we had that whole thing with blueprint meta was explained uh, on the 1st of December, so we're going to go backwards here. A little update with major gameplay feature. Shops, instead of selling ships of blueprints for credits, they'll now sell blueprint meta items that the ship has to fill up with exactly the block of the ship of the blueprint requires. Mm. So you fill up the blueprint with the blocks and then you get your ship. Yes, this means credits will lose a lot of value, but that's intended as crafting should be the thing that drives economy. If you disagree, I added a value in the server.cfg to revert all of that's the old system so if you don't like it on your server you can just turn it off nice this is basically the first step towards shipyards which will use those blueprints as input and will gradually put your ship together so please keep in mind this is this current system is not final also the fact that you can spawn the blueprints in anywhere is a test and by no means final you still need to buy the meta items from a shop <laughs> to give credits some value all support weapon meta items are now available to buy from the shop's NPCs. There also have been some minor balance fixes for weapons, though nothing has been buffed or nerfed, but accuracy of values has been increased. Thanks for playing! So yeah. Uh, on November the 29th there were bug fixes that were pretty awesome. The main thing was a complete redesign uh, of how the core of beam ticks are counted and a couple of other pretty awesome things. And then going back, the FPS drop was fixed. There were balance changes. We may as well just go quickly into this. Ratio fixes. Uh, not many people were happy with the change distribution in, radio, in ratio. I went back and rewrote the module to make it possible to redistribute in any combination. This means ratio of master to slave will once again be one to one. Effects are independent and are also one to one to master. This is not the old system. The change still fixes a bug that was that forced it to be changed in the first place. It's also not a buffer or a nerf as the DPS will stay the same. With 50 modules, you get 50 modules worth of DPS no matter how you distribute it as long as you don't go over 100%. Um, apologies for any inconvenience of players having to interview, having to adapt ships again, but the truth is that balance is just not easy to achieve. Moving things around affects 1,000 other things, and that's why sometimes drastic measures are necessary, only to find a more elegant solution later. Salvage changes. Salvaging was broken for a long time. Putting more than one group, one module in a group didn't matter, and power consumption didn't represent actual gain in blocks. The salvager works now like the damage beam. It does virtual damage to a block, and if that damage is enough, the block will be mined. The block doesn't actual take actual damage, of course. 
default salvager now comes in bursts, but can be made to a constant beam by combining it with a cannon. The virtual salvage damage done to a block is just like the damage beam, dependent on how many blocks are in a group. That means simply, the more salvage modules in a group, the faster you will mine. Other beams. All the support beams have been adapted to use the new tick rate style the same way damage beams do. Missiles. Missile radius do the potential block destruction. Um, uh, make missiles very powerful. The default radius has been decreased a little, but the re radius for the missile pulse combination has been upped by a lot for all your Doom device needs. As always, these changes are not final. Balancing is always a hard topic since it's very subjective in a lot of cases. And believe me, I'm not actually trying to make the game worse for players, but the opposite. I'm trying to do the best. Trying to, I'm doing my best to do so. And even if sometimes it might seem a little drastic, I only have the best for the complete picture in my mind. So there's a whole bunch of charity stuff and fixes. And now we get on to the final piece. So guys, in case you've been living under a rock for the last week, you probably didn't see this trailer come out. This is a little teaser, basically saying that, you know, uh, Steam, Steam. So yeah, that happened today. So that means you can now pick up the game on Steam. Uh, it's totally free still. I'm um, calling this early access release. So it's not full release. It did accidentally come out on full release. But it didn't actually, uh, that was a Steam issue, they accidentally put it in the wrong category. So, yeah, here's, here's that teaser. Oh, this teaser was great. Awesome ship. And like I say, I'm going to go check that out. Um, and then the last thing to mention, of course, is Steam. Oh my god. So here it is guys, basically this is the day that we've been waiting for, it's out on early access. You can now go and check out everything on the main Steam uh, page. It has a, a app, it's 244770, but you can just look up StarMade. It's really easy to find if you just head over to Top Sellers. It, or it actually made number three for a while, um, but yeah, it shot up the ranks, which is really nice to see. Popular new releases. Where are we? There we are, we're at the top of the popular new, because I think we were the most recent at this point. But yeah, like I say, there it is. Star made, $6.99 for your early bird price. Um, if you buy the game now, you're guaranteed a Steam key on full release. Although, if you go into the page, you can. And we've got an awesome new trailer here as well, showing off uh, the best graphical um, yeah, a very cinematic trailer over here. It's really nice. You've got to check it out. And, of course, you've got all the pictures as well. Uh, a new thing about this with Steam, you can actually add your content to the community. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, you can download the demo, which is basically the full game at the moment. Um, but, obviously, if you buy the game on full release, you obviously don't have to pay. You know, you, you pay early if you buy it now but it is technically free so if you don't want to buy it and you still want to play the game just click on a demo and that will add it to your steam list and uh, then you can get involved start playing um, also once you do get on there you can add your videos into the video uh, playlist so there's a lot of videos on there already by quite a few people or Faniel putting some great ships on there um, there's an artwork section as well with some great ships already starting to show up here. And then there's the screenshot section, just F12 and share it with the community. Some really nice pictures already coming up here. Um, obviously, the discussions forum is very lively. There's a lot of stuff up here. So, yeah, so that's all I've got to tell you today for Star Made News. Um, this is going to be like season five of Star Made News now. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in and make sure to come on to Stomach Stash slash news on the main website. Keep up to date with all the official material. So, yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you all next time.